Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. It is nice to see you today. So how is everyone? Good. Okay. Um, I'm happy to hear that you are all good. So um, please remain standing as we ask first the uh, guidance of the Our Lord. So um, Aliana, you can pray for us. Who invented the game volleyball? 
Kristen, Asli. Yes, he is William J. Morgan. So very good group too. So give them three clap. One, two, three. So for the uh, last group, since this is the last ball, this is for your group. So this is your hidden picture. So this is your hidden question. So what was volleyball all back then? Yes, um, Mildred. Yes, it is Mintonet. No? Very good, group 3. So give them 3 claps. So for now, um, what are the facilities and equipment used in volleyball game? Yes? Net. Net, another. Yes, Aliana. Paul, another. Mildred. Nipad. Um, James. Four. No? That, that, um, all of those are uh, facilities and equipment used in volleyball games. So, um, very good. Um, job well done. Um, I'm really glad that um, you still remember our previous lesson. So, for now on, um, using the same group, we have um, another activity. Huh? Another activity. So, we have activity action speaks louder than words. Are you familiar with this um, activity? So, not, not. Um, I will show you uh, different actions. Not. Then you need to identify the message or the meaning of each action. The first group will raise their hand will be called. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay, so I will show you the first action. So first, yes, group three. Quiet. Yes, quiet or don't be noisy. Very good, um, group three. What is your price? Huh? Go ahead. Um, action. So, um, group two. Yes. So, that is the peace sign. So, very good, group two. So, this is your. Price. This is your price. So now, um, the group, uh, group one, group two, and group three. So the group one has one point, then group two has also one point. No? The last action. Yes, group three. Yes, that is I love you. So very good, group three. Group three has two points. So now, um, it's time to uh, it's time to shine. Now it's, it's your time to shine. Let's do the charades. Do you know charades? So. Down to Charade. So this will be um, five points. Huh? So direction. So one representative of each group will act where they pick, and then the group members will guess the word. Each of will have 40 seconds to guess the words. Is that clear? Okay. So choose your representative. Choose your representative. Group one. Is your representative? Yes, I do. Please stand. So, so um first we'll do the action is group one. So are you ready group one? Yeah. Okay, so um you have 40 seconds to guess the action that we use. So your timer starts now. Okay. 
That is kind of sport. So, you have 26 seconds. Look what. So, you have 10 seconds after this word. So, look what. Has 26 seconds before the answer. So, please ask that I this be seated table. So, group 2. Wait, 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 wait for my. So your timer starts now. Valuable. So that is valuable. So your time is 38 seconds. So for group three, are you ready? So the winner is group Group B. So we have five points. The winner is group three. Give them a round of applause. So based on the um our activity, what you observe? All of us, sports, another um, idea. Bubble volleyball, another idea. Another idea. We have another idea. So, in using actions and high signal, what you observe? We can guess the what? Action or message that we want to convey. Huh? So our topic for today is all about different and signal in volleyball game or volleyball sports. Huh? So before we start, I have a trivia. So I don't even have to go. I don't even have to go to the hotel. I don't even have to go to the hotel. I don't even have to go to the hotel. I don't even have to go to the hotel. I don't even have to go to the hotel. So I'm going to use the hotel. So I'm going to use the hotel. So I'm going to use the hotel. Alright? So now, we're going to use the hotel. So we're going to use the hotel. So first is authorization to serve. So, um, Police, please speak. So authorization to serve, the hand signal is indicating the team to serve. So in this kind of hand signal, uh, first you need to um, extend your hand into the team who will serve the ball. Then you need to swing your arm into your, or towards to your stomach. No? So uh, to give the understand, I will show you how to do this. So first, now you need to extend your arm into the team, either team A or team B. Then you need after you extend your arm into their side, you need to swing your arm towards the your stomach. So here. So, uh, fully together with your group, please all stand. So, repeat after me, huh? So, first, you need to extend your arm. It's either um, team A or into the team B. Then, you need to swing your arm towards your stomach. So, here. So, okay, it's your turn, huh? Wait for my whistle. So, ready? Other side. Okay, very good group pass. So please all be seated. So it's not clear. You have to authorization to serve. Okay, so next we have substitution. So um, Celine, please read. Substitution. Indicate 
So substitution indicates substitution is being made. What they are going off and what they are going on for. So in this kind of hand signal, this kind of hand signal is a rule, no? So you need, uh, you don't need to um, award the ball into the uh, team. All you need to do is to stand uh, straight. Then you need to make a similar motion you now using your both arm. Okay, is that clear? Is that clear? So I'm um, sitting together with your group. Is all that? So repeat after me, now. So first, you need to stand straight. Then you need to make a circular motion using your both arms slowly. Is that clear? Okay. So um, it's your turn. Huh? Wait for my whistle. So ready? Okay. Very good, group two. Huh? So please all be seated. So the substitution is clear. Is that clear? Okay. So next we have ball in. So rise then. This three. So in ball in indicates the ball is inbound of the bar. So in um, inbound, it is um, the meaning the ball inside on the court. It's either in team B or um, team A. So in this kind of signal, it is a violation or a violation of signal. So if the uh, team B um, all for violation ball in, you need to point your hands and fingers into their um, court. So before you do that, you need to award first the ball into the team A. No? So first you need to award the ball, then you need to point your hand into team B score. Is that clear? So um, rise and together with your group. This all that. So first, uh, you need to award the ball. It's either team B or, or team A or team B. First you need to award the ball. Then you need to point your hand into the team B score. Is that clear? So um, it's your turn. No? Uh, wait for my whistle. So ready? Other side. Okay, very good. Group 3, Anna. So the next is ball out. So ball out, um, James. This 3 team, ball out. Okay, so this is um, James. So, ball out. The ball is out of bounds or the player illegally in adjustment the court. So, in this kind of hand signal, you need to um, first again to award the ball because it is also a violation um, hand signal. First, you need to award the ball inside the team A or team B. Yeah, example, uh, the team um, A, call uh, for violation, ball out. You need to award the ball into the team this court. Then you need to uh, raise your both four arms towards to your body. Is that clear? Okay, so um, James, together with your group. Please all stand. So repeat after me. So first, um, example, if the team is called for um, ball up violation, you need to award the ball. You need to award the ball, then you need to um, raise your both arms from the bottom towards to your body. Is that clear? Okay, so it's your turn. Before my whistle. Ready? Are you ready? Other side. Other side. Ready for my whistle? Okay, very good group too. So, this is easy then. Is that clear? Ball is clear? Okay. Number five is time out. So, let's go. This um, this week.
So time out is a time out has been requested and indicates the requesting team. So in this kind of hand signal, if the team is, or team B called for time out, example, um, team A called for time out, your um, right hand is with, uh, lead to point D, left uh, foul. No? And see, your right arm point under the palm of your left hand. No? If the team B called for time out, your left hand is um, you need to point no, no? under your right palm. No? In your right hand. Is that clear? So, um, let's do together in your group. So, please all uh, stand. So, repeat after me. No? So, if the team A called for a uh, time out, you need to point your right hand under your left palm. No? If the team B is called for a time out, your left uh, hand, you need to point your right palm under your right palm. Is that clear? Okay, so wait for my your turn. So, first. Okay, so other side. Wait for me, Okay, very good. So, this is easy pen. So, five uh, five of spear. So, next is we have double pata. So, Mildred, this is the problem. Double So, ball, uh, double contact when a player con um, contacts the ball twice in succession. So, in this kind of unsignal, no? if the team A is called for um, uh, double contact, no? if the team A is called for um, double contact, you need to award the ball into the team B's uh, side. No? Then you need to raise your two fingers using your right hand. No? If the team B is called for double contact violation, you need to award the ball into the team A squad, then you need, you need to raise your um, two fingers using your left hand. No? Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. So Mildred, together with your group, please all stand. So repeat after me now. So if the team A, the team A called for, I uh, team B called for uh, double contact violation, you need to award the ball into the team B's Part. Then you need to raise your left hand, no? or you raise your two fingers using your left hand. Is that clear? Okay, so it's your turn. Uh, wait for my whistle. Are you ready? So, so other side, wait for my whistle. Okay, very good, group 3. So please be seated. Double contact is clear. No other question? Okay. Number seven, we have four hits. So, um, Alvin, so, Alvin, so, uh, please wait. Yes, please wait. So, um, four hits, if the team hits the ball four times before the turning into the um, opposing uh, team, uh, in this kind of hand signal, you need to award the ball first because it is also a violation um, hand signal. No? If the team B, no? example, if the team B called for four hits violation, you need to award the ball into the team A score, then you need to raise your four fingers using your left hand. Is that clear? So if the team A called for four hits violation, you need to um, award the ball to the team B squad, then you need to raise your four fingers using your right hand. Is that clear? So I'll be together with your group. Please all stand. So repeat after me. Huh? So first, you need to award the ball. Example, if the team is called for a uh, four inch radiation, then you need to raise your four fingers using your left hand. Okay, is that clear? Okay, it's your turn, so wait for my whistle. 
Ready? Okay, so on the side. Information. Okay, very good group one. So, this one is seated. Number eight. So, we have all tasks. So, Janel. So ball touch, if a player touches the ball, or the ball or the, uh, touches the player, it is considered as a play on the ball. So in this kind of hand signal, you need to reach your both um, arms, no? then <clears throat> you need to raise your both arms, then brush your uh, left hand using your right hand. The clear? The clear. Um, Janelle, together with your group. So please all stand. So please after me. So first, you need to raise your both arms. Raise your both arms, then brush your left hands using your right hand. The beard. So it's your turn. Wait for my whistle. So ready? Ready. Okay, very good group too. So please be seated. So number nine. The end of the match. So Pali, please read the following. So in the match, after the last point of the set has been scored by the leading team. In this kind of hand signal, you need um, only to cross your both arms over your chest level. The beer, so you need to cross your both arms over your chest. The beer. So this uh, kind of hand signal actually is the rule. No? The beer. So, um, put it together with your group. This all stand. So, repeat after me. So, first, you need to cross your both arms over your chest. Huh? So, it's your turn. Wait for my whistle. Ready? Okay. So, very good group three. So, please be seated. For our last um, hand signal, we have change of court. So, Cyrus, please read the following. Change of court. After each set, the team change court speed. The expected score of the deciding set. So, change of court. After each set, the things change. You know? Parts with expect or exception of deciding um, set. So, in this kind of hand signal, first you need to um, extend your both arms. You know? The same time, then you need to cross your um, both arms over again your chest. Then you need to place your right um, arm and your front, then your left. Uh, are into your back. Is that clear? So first, you need to extend your both arms, then you need to cross it over your chest, then you need to place your right hand in your front and left hand in your back. Is that clear? So, <clears throat> um, side us together with your group. So please all stand. So repeat after me. So first, you need to uh, extend your both arm, then cross, then okay, it's not clear. So um, it's your turn. Wait for my whistle. Ready? Okay, very good. So very good. Group one. So that um, or those are the. Um, hand signal 
or different hand signal used in volleyball games. So do you have any questions or clarifications? None? So again, what are the different hand signals used in volleyball um, game? Celine, um, please uh, write one. At least one in different hand signal in volleyball. So, write at least one. Uh, so, okay, we have ball in. So, another, yes, Mildred. The right one. <laughs> So we have time out. Another. Yes, um, James. And we have four hits. Yes, rest job. Okay, change card. Another. Yes. So, so we have substitution. Another. Another five. So yes, rise. <coughs> Okay, we have end of the game or match. Another. Another. Last four. Other than just call it. So we have ball out. Last three is Mildred. So also we have ball touch. So last two. Yes, Celine. So team to serve. So last one. Yes. We have authorization to serve. Okay, so very good. No? So those are the different hand signal used in valuable games. So we have ball in, time out, four hits, um, change of card, substitution, end of the game, ball out, ball touch, or team to serve, and um, double contact.
No? So very good. So for now on, let's have another activity. So I will divide you into five groups. No? So for our lesson, um, make fun and enjoyable. Um, I want you to make no? TikTok hand signal challenge. No? So I will divide you into five groups. So uh, we will this count number one, two, four, three, five.
or kung hindi daw alam na isang player hand signal or mga tao sa hand signal na yun, ano kaya mangyayari? Ayan ha. Okay, so very good. So, hindi na namin gawin kasi yung pangkulit ng mga ano ba yun nation dahil wala sila or their lack of um, knowledge about their hand signals. So, that pair. So, again, again, what are the different hand signals uh, used in volleyball? So, give up this one. Yes, um, James. Yes, we have four games. Another. Aliana. Ball touch. Yes, Alvin. Ball in. Ball in. Good play. Line out. So, right Ball out. Ball out. Yes. Authorization. Yes. Um, change of court. So, yes. End of the game. So, those are the um, different hand signals used in volleyball game. Okay? So to, um, if you really understand our lesson, so we have short quiz, short quiz. So our quiz is entitled Picture Parade. Picture Parade. So we have Picture Parade. So this is our lecture. So identify the pictures of different hand signal in valuable game. Write your answer in your one fourth sheet of paper. So one fourth. Yes, individual. This is a short quiz. Yes. So this is a short quiz.
Dan yung naming idol number 1 ito. So this is the 3 and 4. Okay, we're done. So this is the item. Five and six. They are done. Okay, this is the item 7 and 8, 9 and 10. Okay, so this all is done. This 
Sostan. So, goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for teaching us today.